making the most of knowledge, balancing resources and development through investment in innovation. Trentino is one of the wealthiest and most stable areas in the country, and yet there is the growth of only 1%, which is too low, emphasized the president of the province of Trento, Lorenzo Dellai, presenting the budget for the three-year period 2011-2013. In 2009, the extraordinary measures taken by the Trentino administration in order to combat the crisis involved more than 1.3 billion euro, more than 7% of provincial GDP. Now the province must face what President Delay defined as phase three. As far as 2011 is concerned, the expected budget is 4.6 billion euro, 50 million less than for the current year, with a drop of 1.1%. Total funding of €364,000 has been allocated by the Autonomous Province of Trento for three new humanitarian projects in Mozambique, Guatemala and Palestine. In Mozambique, the province will assist their dream project, which will carry on their fight against AIDS in Africa, setting aside €150,000 for a new laboratory where free HIV testing will be available. €64,000 will go towards funding the Associazione Mezzeruna Fertile del Mediterraneo in Trento for the Canon One project. The Istituto di San Michele all'Adige is already involved in the realization of vineyards and cellars in the Canon area in Palestine. A further €150,000 will go to the Guatemala over a period of three years to reinforce micro businesses run by women. In the three-year period 2007-2010, consumer spending by Italian families fell significantly as they suffered from the effects of the economic crisis. Overall, consumer spending fell by 17.6 billion euro. The sectors hit hardest have been furniture, electrical appliances, homeware, transport and alcoholic beverages. The only three regions where the statistics seem to go against this trend are Emilia Romagna, Friuli Venezia Giulia and Abruzzo. In this context, Trento and the Alto Adige can count on a per capita income which is one of the highest in Italy. In 2009, the average for people in Trentino was €30,000, 20% higher than the national average. Between the 10th of January and the 31st of March 2011, anti-smog measures will be in effect in Trento. Euro Zero, Diesel Euro One, two-stroke motorcycles and mopeds will not be able to circulate from Monday to Friday from 7 to 10 in the morning and from 4 to 7 in the afternoon. This is the main measure to safeguard air quality approved by the municipal government. Other measures include setting central heating temperatures to 20 degrees in public buildings, cleaning roads and squares with water and banning the burning of plant waste in the open. The Long Christmas Holidays of Lonely Old People This is an initiative launched by SIPAA, Società Italiana Psicologia dell'Adulto e dell'Anziano, which offers a free service for people over 65 in Trentino. From the 15th of December to the 15th of January, by telephoning the association's number 0461-992740, those over the age of 65 and suffering profoundly from loneliness will be able to book a free appointment with a psychologist. The one-hour interview may not resolve the problem, but will certainly help to alleviate loneliness during the holiday period. The agreement that will bring the Interfootball Club training camp to Trentino for two years has been officially presented in Milan. The Italian champions will arrive in the Varendena on the 14th of July and Pinzolo will be decked out in black and blue to celebrate their arrival. Like Bayern, the other Champions League finalist which had its training camp in Trentino, Inter will also be bringing the club's younger teams. <laughs>